Okay, we're talking about rate of change. Rate of change is a comparison of how one value goes up or down as compared to another value um, also going up or down. Now, sometimes that's over time, sometimes that's uh, by count, sometimes that's um, by weight. Uh, it can be any two values compared to each other. But the idea behind rate of change is that it tells you how those two things change in relationship to each other. As one value increases, what happens to the other? And as one value decreases, what happens to the other? What I have here is an example that talks about how rate of change works. So let's take a look at the example and we'll see if we can apply it to the concept and get a feel for the concept. So Brian just turned 18 and his parents helped him buy a car. If he starts off owing his parents $500 and can pay back $150 each two weeks by working at his job, how many weeks will it take him to pay off the debt and what is his rate of payoff per week? So we're going to use an XY graph here, and we're going to put um, weeks across the bottom. So we'll label this axis weeks. And we're going to put dollars going up, but let's make each tick $100. So we'll say this is dollars times 100. So we can see that, so to get a feel for what those numbers mean. So we know um, that obviously when he hasn't done anything yet, he hasn't paid off any money, he hasn't worked, so we actually have a point at zero, zero. If he hasn't worked at all, he hasn't worked any weeks, and he hasn't earned any money. Then it says here he pays back $150 every two weeks. So if we go over two weeks and go up to 150, that's his first payoff. This point right here represents two weeks, two on the x-axis, and $150 that he's paid off based on what we put on the y-axis. Then we go another two weeks, two more weeks, and he pays off another $150. So now we have another point here at four weeks and $300. And then after another two weeks, we pay off a total of 450, and he's almost paid off at that point. And if he were to go another two weeks, he'd be out here at 600, but of course then he would have already paid off more than he needed to. So somewhere around over here, our line ceases to have meaning because he would have paid off his parents and not had to keep paying any more value. But what we're looking for is what his rate of payoff is per week and how many weeks it actually takes, actually takes him to get to that point. So first of all, let's sort of draw in this line here. We can see that these line points are all in a straight line, like so. Now, we won't have anything going off to the left down there below. The reason I stopped it right there at the center is because he doesn't pay negative amounts, he doesn't work negative weeks. So these values over here don't have any meaning for us. But these two axes here compare our two values pretty well. We can see that although the points we have are every two weeks, that we can actually find a point every one week. If we were to go over one week and go up, there would be a mark right here. And we can tell by looking at 150 each two weeks that this mark right here is probably at 75, and then another two weeks. From there would be another 150, that would be at 225, and so on. But each one week then, he goes over a week and up by $75. So his rate of change, how fast his payoff compares to the number of weeks going by, is $75 per week. And we can see the rate of change visually on the graph by looking at how fast that line goes up. If he were to pay it off more quickly, if he were to pay off, say, $150 per week, then that line would change to look more like this. If he was paying off $150 every week instead of $100 every two weeks, then that line would be much steeper, like so. And we could see that that rate of change would have increased. If he were to pay it off more slowly, the rate of change would decrease. So on an XY graph, that rate of change is visualized or uh, pictured directly as the slope of that line or the angle of that line which is why sometimes slope is actually referred to as rate of change. It's a comparison of how one value changes compared to the other.